Hey everyone, how's it going? Sam here. In this quick little video, I wanted to share a website I found called Code Crafters. It is a project-based learning platform where you can actually build a bit more complicated software. So as you can see here, you can build a HTTP server, you can build Docker, your own Git. So the products are a bit uh, more of like higher caliber than perhaps like tutorials and stuff you can see online. And I always found that learning by building and doing projects was the best way to learn a language. Um, and I stumbled upon this as I'm learning Rust at the moment and um, thought it was a great resource. So I wanted to share with it um, with you in a little video. So there are, at the moment, there's the BitTorrent course and the HTTP server course that are free. Um, so definitely go check those out if you can. Um, it is otherwise paid. I think it's about $400 a year to access all of them, but you can also try out the uh, free ones right now. And so when you get started with a project, it will ask you to create um, a repo. It will do it for you. You just press a few buttons, it'll create it, and then you just got to go and clone it. And you follow it step by step. It tells you the task to do. And it's actually pretty cool because when you push up uh, your code, so if I did, uh, let me just do a quick change. So if I push this up, push it up, you can actually see the tests um, in your terminal and it's running here as well. Yeah, so there we go, the tests are running and it'll let you know uh, if it works. If you pass the test, you can go to the next one um, otherwise you'll be stuck. Um, however, it's pretty cool. There are code examples here. Um, so you can see like what other people have done to solve the project. And, um, hopefully you don't just go and copy paste their, res <laughs> their result and just move on. Hopefully you, you might see, uh, maybe they used a package or something else and, uh, want to use it as well. Um, but you can do that. So here, like my test failed, uh, you can see the error logs and then you can go ahead and correct it, try again, push up, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I thought this was pretty neat. Um, it's not sponsored, not, you know, affiliated or anything. Uh, I just wanted to share this website with you, uh, as I think it's a pretty useful tool for learning. Um, so yeah, if you like this sort of video, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.